What's going on fam, it's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray, and I'm back with another CHH Today. And I know guys, you like, well luck, you on the roll, you got two CHH Todays, thank the Lord, you probably only had one per week, and I'm, I, I'm trying to give you more than one a week, but guys, you gotta be feeding me information, you gotta give me something where that I can report, or... There's something that I can do Because a lot of times CHH is a little small And you really have to search Through a needle in a haystack For a news report If Lil Cray or NF is not doing anything A lot of people are doing a lot of great things But Rapzilla on reports once a day But we gonna get into that later But I'm back with another CHH today And this time guys I am doing the album review And yes This is an independent guy I'm very excited to get the opportunity To do this album review this artist goes by the name of Carton Jones and he has a new album called I Believe. And the funny thing about this artist guys, A, he is a, he's a North Carolina guy and he's also a saxophonist. The, the crazy thing is that I heard the saxophone on his first record, which was a self-titled record called I Believe. And I was like, man, you probably got a synthesizer. You probably went on FL Studios and got it hooked up. Trust me, I produce beats. And I'm like, yo, this dude ain't... This, I mean, it's a nice saxophone. A lot of times in hip-hop, we don't use saxophone unless it's like a jazz film. But Carson pulled it off. And I'm going to go through the album. So, if you like what you see or hear, excuse me, you can't see me. But if you like what you hear, please hit the subscribe button. And also, I will have the... I will have the album on the description the link to the album so if you feel free if you want to listen to this album you go ahead and, and hit that description below and also guys before i get into this review if you are an independent artist and you watch and subscribe to my channel and if you want your album to be reviewed by your man the main man the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray. Please send me a message on Facebook. I will have the description right here. You can hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. Be like, yo, Lucky Murray, I want you to review this album. Now, please let it be fire. Please let it be something that I'm going to listen to. Be like, okay, I see where you're going. Okay, okay, I got you now. Okay. And message me or even leave a comment down here. We can get it started. I would love to listen to your album and also give you my, my opinion because, hey, that's, it's all just my opinion. I'm not getting paid for it, so I'm going to give you my honest opinion. So, but I'm going to get into the album. So this is Carson Jones' I Believe album. The title track is called I Believe. Some things I noticed off the back was the saxophone. I'm like, okay, does it sound almost like a Kenny G type deal? And... And if you listen to a Carson Jones, and I do my research and do my homework on him, I seen him on Rapzilla before, so I was familiar with the artistry. I never heard his music before, but I was interested. Like, hmm, okay, let me listen to it. And I saw the video, and I was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I, I had my preconceived notions when I heard the album, but guys, I believe the 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 saxophone and the jazz element added such a a relief to, to the vocals because you could tell this artist is not trying to go mainstream or at least have the mainstream sound so that's pretty refreshing you know he didn't have a whole lot of 808s you know what i'm saying he didn't have a whole lot of you know you know uh you know auto tune it was just him straight rapping lyrics are really crisp especially doing the song i believe had a really awesome message awesome message i love the edm element I back back when EDM was at its highest. I mean, EDM still a popular genre. Don't get me wrong, but when EDM and trap music kind of collapsed together, I always wanted to to successfully add EDM to my hip hop songs. I've never done that, but I admire artists that have done that. Social Club and Derek Mana a few years back did it with uh, Party People, um, and I thought that was a really good way to add EDM. So not only do you have 
you know, you have the hip hop side, you have the saxophone with brain, the jazz side, and you also have an EDM breakdown. And I also love the chorus of the songs. If you listen throughout this album, you know that Carlton Jones and the people who we have singing, I don't know if he's doing the songwriting himself or he's working with a couple of the singers to produce these hooks. Man, they are powerful, man. It's something that, you know, it's an experience that I think that hip hop today needs. I think that, especially in Christian hip hop, I think everybody wants to go, uh, uh, wants to go the same route as Reach Records or somebody try to be mainstream and kind of shy away from, hey, I'm not a Christian rapper, you know, I'm just a guy who's a Christian. Like, nah, bro, nah, bro, Carson Jones, hey, I believe. First track to let you know exactly where he is, but also he brings you to a, a, an experience, and that's one thing I, I admire and I respect about this project. So the lyrics flow well. Now, Carson Jones is not a not to me personally is not necessarily a worse man. Somebody who's you know gonna go tit for tat as far as lyrics and bars and blah 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 and and all these things that I think that 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 hip hop we we gosh we we just. It's, it's frustrating because you gotta judge artists different ways, you know, you can't put Lil Uzi Vert and a Nas in the same box or a Future or let's say a Future and a Brian McKnight, you know what I'm saying, like 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 they're different artists, they do different things, but, but for me, I want to know how your lyrics help bring this song together, you know, I'm a chef, so if you have a plate of food, right, if you had a plate of food, you know, everything has to go well with each other. You know, and you might not, you might have a piece of steak, and a piece of steak might not be the best piece of steak ever, but it's presented well, and it has some sides that go with it that enhance the flavors of the steak, and you know, you might have a little red wine, Mwah! you know, and it, it complements everything, nothing's overpowering, but everything supports each other to make the play well, and that's what I look at as far as songs, you don't have to impress me with the lyrical side of it, but are you saying something? You know, can I listen to it like, mm, mm, okay, I understand. So, second track. The second track inside of me. One thing I, I said, the chorus was on point. The chorus is on point, and this, the theme throughout this album doesn't sound like anything else. So, you can't be like, hey, how does Carson Jones sound like? You know, I can't really picture nobody because of the, of the elements he do have. The EDM, the jazz, the hip-hop, you know, he has some reggae tone in there. And, you know, too, I just love, I just love the chorus. And it does not sound like anyone else. And one thing I was really surprised, especially as an independent artist, that he took his time to get this thing really mix and master and laid down really well now you know like i said for me as an independent there's still you know points where you can get it mix and master a little bit more but hey if your budget limited i think this is the best foot for it and i think this is a really really good ep um the third record frozen frozen love the edm man. edm i love the element of edm the song and this is storytelling you know how he was you know how he was in the world and how you know God had to had to basically he had to become frozen you know to really love and understand the love that God has for him and the way that he was going in life was not particularly the best road ever so I thought that this song right here man was good I, I do love songs that tell a story as for me I love storytelling hip hoppers you know that's one people that I grew up on you know, like Will Smith you know, you had uh, Kid and Play, you had uh, Rock Him. You know, you had all these different types of dudes that, you know, Biggie, Toys B.I.G., that were storytellers. You know, Tupac was a storyteller. You know, Brenda had a baby. And somebody who can tell a story and put us in their shoes, I think it's an excellent song. So, the next track is The Blood. He went to the boom bap. Now, I didn't think that he was going to go to the boom bap. I was listening like, okay. You know, I was nodding my head and he had a special appearance by Braille. And Braille is a pioneer with Humble Beast Records, and man, you know, I thought that I thought that he picked the perfect feature. With a lot of times, these artists they get features, and it's just for name recognition only. Like, hey, yo, you know, I got a song. Hey, you can give me some clicks on online, let me put you on the track. And it's like, look, if you're gonna pay for a feature, please let the feature fit the song that you're doing for them don't just put them on a song and hey especially the independent artists they need quick you know quick 150 200 dollars how much they charge for the feature they gonna do the song I'm not saying they're they gonna give you a terrible verse excuse me but at the same time they really 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 want you know 
you know, their investment is not to make sure that you bring them the song that they best fit on. You know, they're going to try to fit the vision that you have for the song. So listen to the artist, knowing what, what fits well in Braille. You know, he's one of those boom bap type rappers. I, I, I don't misquote me. I believe that he was with the uh, Tunnel Raps crew back in the days with Tunnel Raps and um, Cross Movement, blah, blah, blah. That was before my time. I didn't even know really it exist, but I believe Bro was with that with that group. And then he started Humble Beast with, uh, you know, Propaganda with Odd Times them up in uh, the, the, the West. So my last track, the last track, all of this, and this is features his wife. The one critique I have of this this particular song, and it's only my opinion, I thought that Rachel Jones came on a little too high. I thought that I thought she could probably the tone could probably come down a little bit because I, even though that's the pitch of the of the notes that, that that was playing through the song, I just felt like it was a little too high. But I appreciate. Not, I'm not saying it's a bad song. I think it's a really good song. That's just my personal preference. But I believe with the, his wife. First of all, he has his wife on the track. You know what? What artist do you know that brings that family element in there? And not only your wife supports you, but she's on the track. And you know, it's like, look, and his wife's like, look, I know you want all this. And he's like, yep. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then Carson gets on the rack record and sings on the record, which I thought was beautiful, man. I thought that him doing that thing with his wife or do it with his wife, you know, not bringing in another woman to sing this song about you. You go ahead and sing this. I need to let my wife listen to this and see if she gonna sing on the record for me. She's probably not, but. That's another story for another day. But, you know, I listen to everything else. I listen to everything else. And here, what Lucky Murray does for CHH Today, I get my album one out of five. You know, because I feel as though that, you know, five, that five piece is something that like, okay, a five piece is real good. So, in my mind, you know, I was struggling between the 3.5 and 4. You know, I gave my only five of this year to Swoop, and I don't think that I, you can't compare the album. And I gave my four to the Social Club, which I think Social Club took it in a different direction. You know, totally, I'm not, I'm not comparing the album to Carson Jones, I believe album, but I am solid on 3.5. And the reason why I say that because, because can't give it a five piece. It's almost a four piece. It's like a 3.5, almost a four. So. I need your help with this, guys. I need you to let me know what exactly do you think this album is out of one out of five. You know, I believe that some of the lyrics could have been crisp and cleaned up a little bit more. You know, I believe that I wish it was a longer project. You know, EPs, that's like, that's like what's next? You know, I, I wish I can have a, a, a bigger body of work. But for the work I got now, I believe it's a solid 3.5, close to 4. You know, if, if I listen to it again, if I do another review again, it's probably going to be a four, but it's, it's stuck between there. I think this is a really well done album, especially as an independent artist. I believe that Carson Jones does bring a really unique element to the game of CHH, and I, and I believe I, 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 I want to hear LP. And this is why I'm talking to you guys. I need you to let me know exactly what you thought of the album. First, listen to the album. It's only about 20 minutes, so it's not going to take a lot of your time to listen to the album and come back and give me feedback to what you thought of this album if you like this video please hit it with a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button i need to get the 200 subscribers you know why because your boy is doing it one subscriber at a time and also if you didn't like this video or if you have some critique of what i'm doing please hit that dislike button let me know what you think and also let's talk about it in the comment section again this is the entertainer the motivator, the educator, and please do not forget all three. Lecky, Murray, back with another, with another. Excuse me, I can't talk right now. I'm too excited. CJ today and Carson Jones, I believe album. You got something, brother. You got something. Keep it going. Loving the album. It's definitely replay value that I'm gonna listen to again. Until next time, people.